<laughs> Actually, this is really just a simple image gallery website. Uh, just uh, the thing is, um, I'm really into like, kind of like virtual reality, like something like Oculus or Google Cardboard, and I just. Uh, I'm uh, just, uh, just traveling right now and just want to have some kind of gallery, photo gallery for the virtual reality. So just I started building things with a uh, Meteor and because Meteor has such a um, really reactive kind of like framework. So, you know, in virtual reality, you don't really want to refresh the, your page, right? Like if you're looking at like some different kind of world. So, just for the future feature that I'm gonna make in future, like just I wanna really want it to be really reactive way. So it's just now just like simple, you know, just image gallery. Just so you can oh sorry, you can just move around and actually uh, because I just need some, some you know some device to actually do it. Like or maybe you can try in your cell phone, but just a uh, simple uh, image gallery website, which is the, thanks to Meteor, it's really, the page transition is really fast, and in the, uh, somehow if some other user like make changes to the content, then you can immediately can see <laughs> something like that. So it's just an uh, image gallery that the, I'm prototyping with the Meteor, and it's not really much about <laughs> much function about it. How to capture the picture? Ah, yeah. The part is I have some kind of camera. You want to take a picture here? <laughs> yeah, I can take a picture here. Like. Uh, ah, actually, actually uh, you can actually go the gyroscope. Yes. Actually, if you have Android cell phone and if you have some like cheap Google Cardboard. Which is you can oh, mount wow. your cell phone and you can actually wear it into your head and you can actually do some VR mode, which is you split the screen in half and you render with your different your eyes. <laughs> Excuse me? No, there's no it's the yeah, it's true. So it's kind of like simple gallery for this kind of camera, which is like you have two camera with a fish island range. So that's a special camera that you have. Yeah, but you can take this kind of camera as a picture with uh, your cell phone too. Uh, if you, I'm not sure about iPhone, but if you have uh, like Android cell phone, yeah. there's uh, something called a uh, photosphere. Uh, yeah. So you basically you take picture of every angle, like maybe you have, to, but you have to take picture of like more than 20 times. It's kind of really not really comfortable to, wait to take it picture. <laughs> yeah, it takes really long time. Yeah, so just, uh, just page function is just like post, uh, just log in and just upload the picture. Do you have to write the code for the image display? Excuse me? Do you have to write the code for displaying the image? Ah, this is just uh, use a simple, uh, just a use library called three, uh, three JS, oh. which is kind of like a web, the WebGL, and you can use a really comfortable API. And also, uh, also support so this kind of function. Yes, we have uh, two meshes that are in the, uh, in some kind of room or that they're doing for you. Like how, how this get the yeah, image yeah. work? Yeah. It's just, um, uh, this actually, actual image is really like flat. Let me see if I can show you the real image we made. Actually, just uh, just imagine the sphere. You can flatten the sphere. This kind of like original image, and you can uh, you can wrap. The, you can use the image as like texture of a sphere. Yeah. So just uh, for the the camera is inside the sphere, and just you seeing the texture is wrapping the sphere. That's how it works. Usually. Yeah, but usually the stitching is also kind of a bit pain, right? Excuse so me. The stitching is a bit of a, uh, a difficulty as well. So if you got 
Ah, yeah, that yeah. part is all in this camera, it does. So, <laughs> 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 yeah, so. so that's, the, that's the magical device. Yeah, that is the magical device. <laughs> <laughs> also, it uh, used the Android cell phone, the photosphere function does that too. So, that will be <laughs> complicated. <laughs> So Maybe if you have a map, you can like you can put all these places on a map and then combine it with the geodata. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can do it. Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably it has metadata of your location, so yeah. combine with that like that way. So, so yeah. So I hope in future I'm gonna add some kind of user interaction. So, so meta reactivity like helps make it more interesting. <laughs> Uh, is there any question? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>